Out of the agony of this hour, we will rise. Simple words spoken to a community reeling from tragedy. A state trooper came up and said the, the line that it's the UE basketball team, it's the Aces. Well, he said that to my dad. And uh, he called back to the station and said, you got to get a reporter out here right away. 29 young, bright lives ended tragically on a hillside here, leaving those first on scene haunted by their memories. That was one of the hardest things that he ever experienced uh, uh, in covering that story. His father, Richard, he says, never talked much about what he saw that night. What Kyle knows about the Aces, he learned as a child as his father worked on a show with new Aces coach Dick Walters. They were recruiting guys that that wouldn't get to play anywhere else. Hollywood is full of inspirational sports stories. Something like the Hoosiers or We Are Marshall, it would be as good or you know better movie than than one of those. Because there is no comeback story like the Purple Aces. As soon as there was a team again, it kind of healed some of that hurt that the community was going through. Uh, because they had somebody to cheer for. Dietz's experiences and those of his father inspired his screenplay. For them to be able to do what they did and just one, you know, having a team, but then within three years making the NCAA tournament, it was just inspiring. Out of the agony of that hour, they rose. And now those words are forever fixed on a campus in a community that will never forget the night it rained tears in Evansville.